Hi, I'm Crazy Biker, and I'm going to show you how to change the drum brakes on a Ford Focus 2005 ZX5. Let's get started. First, jack up the car and remove the wheel. You've got the car jacked off the ground, you're going to want... and the wheel off, you're going to want to remove this cap right here. Just friction fit, flathead screwdriver. Now for a 31 millimeter bolt. This this only applies to a Ford Focus because they build the wheel bearing right into the drum. Almost there. There you go. Sometimes when you take these bolts off, the little spacer ring will break right off. And you gotta make sure that you don't lose them. Next you're gonna wanna grab some vice grips. And you're gonna grab this little spring right here and you're going to pull in that direction. Putting it up. It will work better. Ah, beautiful. Next, you're going to want to take these pins out here. You can get them out with a hammer or a flathead screwdriver or pliers and if you're persistent, you could probably even pull it out with your fingers. Hey, it's recording. Hammer works good. There we go. So don't lose these, these fall out sometimes. In fact, you're probably better off just taking them out. They just pull out, friction fit. Just go in the back. All right. Just move the whole thing, right? Yep. Dismount. And uh, you're gonna wanna disconnect your e-brake cable there. It's on a little spring, so you just pull the spring down the shaft and it'll pop off. The spring kind of holds it in, so it makes it hard to remove. But you have to slide this down a little shaft there and done. Cool. All right, here's how you twist a thing. Pull down. And These springs, right there's no pressure on them, so they're really easy to get out. Just look at the shape of them, and it's like a jigsaw puzzle in reverse. You pull as hard as you can yeah, you and then off. once it's far enough away you can start your twist there we go oh that was not too good but <laughs> <laughs> all right you're gonna need a few pieces from your old brake one is this little um brake limiter thing you can adjust that when when it gets in we'll show you that you need these three springs and these two pins here with the pin clips. Okay. Now, so reverse, you just pop it through again, the back. I'm pretty sure it goes in the low one. There you go. All right, almost there. Okay, you're gonna have to do this here. Oh, come on. Oh, baby, there we go. <laughs> I was really worried about your fingers there. Yeah. <laughs> Next, we gotta attach the other pad. And then you just need some... Oh, actually... You Man up! Be... Yeah, you should be no, able to do it. it's easy. <laughs> you did. Nice. Yeah, um, a lot of the times when you're doing this, right here, the spring is just going to catch and it'll uh, make this spring right here fold over weird. Um, I like to start by grabbing this as hard as I can. Squeeze in here. Second step, you got to install the e-brake cable. Yeah, this might be a two-person job if you're a girl. <laughs> Okay, this is the that's right. back side, right? Yeah, that's yeah. right. It's gonna flip around 180 degrees. When uh, you install it backwards and then flip it over once you've got the e-brake cable on. Like we said, two-person job. Now yeah. that we've got it on. Yeah, you just slide it in then. It should go in. Oh, this is under the... Uh-oh, I guess we weren't done. Works for me. You gotta make sure that the top of these pads right here are over top of the cylinder. And you wanna make sure these parts go underneath the lip here. So if you look closely, this is in front. You want this in back. And then, there we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now I think it's about Pin. time to get the pins in. Pins out. Putting them in is a lot harder than getting them out, but it's not that hard. <laughs> Here you're gonna wanna use the force. 
Yeah, and your friend. You should be able to hammer it on. Oh. This, this is the adjuster right here for, you need to set this to zero every time you change your pads. The easiest way to do that is your uh, uh, flat, flat screwdriver. <laughs> Here we go. And you just kinda... Use the force. Use. One thing you don't wanna do, which we're doing, is touching the pads full of greasy hands. We probably did that 10,000 times. I I avoided the pads pretty oh. good. And it goes in this way, right? Yeah. Oh, come on. I think... Do you see my problem? A little. Do you want me to do it? Give it one more. Yes. <laughs> you want to get the pads in as close as possible, so hammer time. Make sure it's as close to the center as possible. It'll just make putting the drum back on easier. Should Come on. fit like a cake. No, it shouldn't. Last time we had to use the forks, remember? Oh yeah, the forks. Okay. More equals more better. Yeah, just normal Blake brake cleaner. Look how much crap came out of your brake. Show the cam. Yeah, yeah it's worth cleaning. <laughs> All right, if you become fed up with trying to get the pads back in, hit it with a hammer. So basically, uh. <laughs> We were hammering it for a bit. You have to hammer it, try to get it as level as possible so that this ring is, is even on both sides and then just hammer it in. And then at one point, it'll be easy. It should just slide in. You'll get the sweet spot and then it should go That's in great. nice. We actually take bike handlebars and stick them on a socket wrench to gain leverage in order to get the bolt tight enough. You should use a torque wrench. It's 173 foot pounds torque. Don't forget to put your dust cap back on. Next, get the wheel on and take it for a test drive. Thanks for watching my how-to. Should be lots more coming in the near future.